As the world faces numerous environmental challenges, the search for sustainable and eco-friendly alternatives in various industries becomes crucial. Agriculture, being one of the most significant sectors impacting our planet, is no exception. In recent years, the spotlight has turned towards microbes as potential game-changers in the field of fertilizers. Microbes, tiny living beings invisible to the naked eye, offer promising solutions to enhance soil fertility, promote plant growth, and reduce the reliance on chemical fertilizers. This video delves into the fascinating world of microbes and explores their potential as the future of fertilizers. So without any further ado, let's get started. Kicking off the discussion, let's look at the microbial revolution in agriculture. For centuries, farmers have relied on traditional practices and chemical fertilizers to meet the demands of a growing population. However, the excessive use of synthetic fertilizers has resulted in detrimental consequences for the environment, including soil degradation, water pollution, and biodiversity loss. This has led researchers and scientists to explore alternative methods that can provide sustainable solutions to agricultural challenges. Microbes, such as bacteria, fungi, and archaea, play a vital role in soil ecosystems. They interact with plants through a symbiotic relationship, benefiting both parties involved. These microscopic organisms have the ability to fix nitrogen, solubilize phosphorus, produce growth-promoting substances, and protect plants from diseases. Harnessing the power of these natural processes could revolutionize modern agriculture. That said, how do microbes help in plant growth? Nitrogen Biological nitrogen fixation. BNF is a process by which microbes may directly collect nitrogen from the air and transform it into ammonia. These have been demonstrated to improve general plant health and agricultural output. They improve the soil's capacity to hold nutrients and create phytohormones that stimulate plant growth directly, control the disease through biocontrol, lessen abiotic pressures, and undo the harm caused by pollutants and toxins. Phosphate. The amount of phosphorus in the soil is usually enough, but it is generally present in insoluble forms that plants cannot utilize. Insoluble phosphates are converted by phosphate-solubilizing bacteria into soluble bioavailable forms, largely by the action of enzymes. Potassium. While potassium is also easily present in most soil types, unlike phosphate, only a tiny portion of it is available to plants for absorption. It has been demonstrated that a wide variety of microorganisms may improve the availability of potassium, largely via secreting organic acids. Plant Growth Promotion and Disease Suppression Microbes offer more than just nutrient enrichment. They also play a crucial role in promoting plant growth and protecting crops from diseases. Certain bacteria, like Bacillus and Pseudomonas, produce plant growth-promoting substances, such as hormones and enzymes, that stimulate root development, increase nutrient uptake, and improve overall plant health. These beneficial bacteria can enhance crop productivity and resilience, particularly in challenging environments. Furthermore, microbes can act as biocontrol agents, combating plant pathogens and reducing the need for chemical pesticides. For instance, Trichodema and Streptomyces species are known for their antagonistic properties against various fungal pathogens. Employing these microbial allies can minimize the environmental impact of pesticide use and contribute to a more sustainable farming system. Environmental Benefits The utilization of microbial fertilizers offers significant environmental benefits. By reducing the reliance on chemical fertilizers, the risk of soil degradation and water pollution can be mitigated. Microbes promote soil health and structure, preventing erosion and enhancing water retention capacity. Additionally, the use of microbial fertilizers contributes to a decrease in greenhouse gas emissions associated with the production and application of synthetic fertilizers. Furthermore, microbes can contribute to the restoration of degraded lands. By reintroducing beneficial microbial communities to damaged ecosystems, Soil fertility can be restored, biodiversity can be enhanced, and carbon sequestration can be facilitated. Microbes, therefore, present an opportunity to shift towards regenerative agriculture practices that prioritize the long-term health of both the environment and farming systems. But are there any drawbacks to using microbial fertilizers? They have a short shelf life. 
and need to be handled properly to retain viability because they are made from live or dormant microbe cells. The type of microorganisms utilized, environmental factors, crop types, soil types, etc. can all affect efficacy. Naturally, farmers whose crop yields have been maximized by conventional fertilizers are wary of risking future financial success by moving to unproven goods. Additionally, early biofertilizers had inconsistent efficacy because they had too few bacteria and were frequently contaminated with undesirable microbes during production. The bacteria can also be killed by chemical residues left in applicators and bulk tanks. The microbial stability, adhesion, and dispersion capability of new biofertilizers are improved. Finally, because bacteria are sensitive to temperature, moisture content, and soil pH levels, using biofertilizers requires specialized knowledge of microbes and soil health. Why should we stop the use of traditional fertilizers? There is space for improvement in the nitrogen usage efficiency and UE of conventional fertilizer. Fertilizer that is not utilized by the farmer is ineffective and harmful to the environment. In addition to eutrophication, soil deterioration, and acidity, leaching into the water can also result in the loss of soil organic matter, soil compaction, and erosion. The number of helpful microbes may decline as a result of excessive usage of conventional fertilizers. Additionally, the use of conventional NPK fertilizer sets up a vicious cycle requiring yearly increases in fertilizer to maintain and improve soil health while maximizing crop yields. Leading names in the microbial fertilizer space. Indigo Ag has created a biofertilizer with crop-specific formulations for maize, soybeans, cover crops, cotton, and wheat that uses nitrogen-fixing bacteria sprayed as a seed coating. To forecast which bacteria are most helpful to crop health, they are building a database of genetic microbe data for corn, wheat, and sorghum. Pivot Bio has an effective nitrogen-fixing biofertilizer. A recent entry is Kula Bio, which was created by Harvard. Utilizing machine learning and data analytics, its platform chooses and optimizes microbial strains by identifying certain microbial strains for particular crops and habitats. In order to find potential microorganism candidates and subsequently customize these combinations in field experiments, BioConsortia developed genomic and computational methods. Tests on wheat, rice, corn, soybean, tomatoes, peppers, strawberries, and grapes have been done using nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Another well-known company is Enlightened Soil Corp. A unique, all-natural soil amendment concentrate created from algae is produced by Impact Innovation. A practical substitute for conventional chemical fertilizers is now available in the form of N-soil algae, a pure culture of chlorella vulgaris. It increases soil fertility, which improves plant health and increases agricultural yields while causing no chemical runoff. Even better, compared to chemical fertilizers, N-soil algae is far less expensive. Next, we have the Kelzyme. Kelzyme was established in the 1980s and trademarked under several names in the 1990s. Since that time, Kelzyme has developed as a business and now offers its distinctive product to home gardeners and professional agricultural farmers seeking an easy-to-use organic substitute. The Kelzyme headquarters are situated in Mill City, Nevada, and Brooklyn, New York, and its production facilities are situated in Northern Nevada. Ginkgo Bioworks, a division of Bayer AG, purchased Join Bio, soil health bacteria, seeing this as a chance to revitalize established product lines. Agrinos was bought by Amvac Chemical Corporation, and advances have drawn investments from top fertilizer firms, including Yara, Mosaic, and Koch. There are other emerging technologies for conventional fertilizer. It is possible to supply nutrients to plants as they grow at the proper time, location, and rate by encapsulating nitrogen and other nutrients using coating technology to ensure slow or controlled release. Amino acids from plants, plant hormones, humic compounds, and derivatives from seaweed may also be effective. In conclusion, microbes represent a promising avenue for transforming the agricultural sector towards a more sustainable and environmentally friendly future. Their ability to enhance nutrient availability, promote plant growth, and suppress diseases has the potential to reduce the dependence on synthetic fertilizers and chemical pesticides. 
By harnessing the power of these microscopic organisms, we can work towards a more resilient and ecologically balanced food production system. As we face the pressing challenges of feeding a growing global population while mitigating environmental degradation, it is essential to explore innovative solutions like microbial fertilizers. Embracing these natural allies can pave the way for a more sustainable and productive agriculture sector. The future of fertilizers lies in the realm of microbes. With that said, we have come to the end of this video. Kindly like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest improvements in agriculture and sustainability. Together, we can shape a brighter future for our planet and future generations.